we should get out of the road. <gasps> There's little kittens. <laughs> What's going on guys? Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. We're just outside Flex Fitness. About to commence into a shoulder workout today at the beginning. I'm going to be taking you through a full shoulder workout. Actually, no, it's a lie. Brittany is going to be taking us through the shoulder workout. She's going to be teaching me her ways. Yes. So let's get out the rain, get in the gym, and get it done. So hope you guys enjoy this video. It's a cat, come on. I don't even like cats. We've actually come to the gym really late tonight, so it's honestly dead. We have an hour to train because it's 10 o'clock at night right now. What are we starting the workout with? Single arm front cable race. I usually do like two arms together with like a rope. Like I'll grab a rope and like bring it up. Yeah. I'll never do like over grip single arm. It's nice. So moving on to exercise number three, we're doing single arm landmine press. I haven't done these for a while, so I'm actually really interested to see how like see how we do. I feel like the two exercises that we've done so far, the reared out dumbbell flies and the front raise with the cable. Usually I'll do them exercises at the end of a workout, so like starting with them is already making this workout quite interesting. And also doing this, it's gonna be a good one. I feel like it is important sometimes to let someone else take control of your workout because you can get unknowingly set in routine and you can like become just like consistent in doing the things that you're used to and you question why you're not making any progress when it's actually because you're just not changing up your routine enough. Brittany taking us through this workout, it's probably gonna do nothing but good things. Next exercise is something that I've actually never done before and I do the shit out of side lateral raises but I've never done static hold raises which is basically where you're like, you'll hold one arm up and then rep the other arm and then switch so you'll hold this one and then wrap that one. We have 10 kilo and 17. It gives you like a pump in a way that's different and it feels good. Now we're moving on to dumbbell shoulder press. I always like to go down to like at least four reps to see how strong I am every single workout. It's more of an egotistical thing and I do like to come to the gym to lift heavy but when you have to stick to four times 12, you have to do 12 reps every single time. So welcome to payback for our uh, first leg day. 20 reps yeah, but on I'm still set. feeling that leg day. I'm still in pain two days later. We're gonna decrease the weight just a little bit but just to accentuate the fact that we are dropping the weight, we're gonna control it a lot more than we usually would. We're just gonna go slower on the eccentric part just to really tear the shoulders up, so let's go. See, I wish we were driving the car home, but we're not. We're steering with the plate instead. 15 kilo. Was that not funny? I'm funny. Oh, you're so cute. There's people at home dying right now, because that was so funny. Steering wheels. Great face. <laughs> I'm not 
of the workout that Brittany was putting us through is now finished. I think we did like five exercises, but we are gonna do two more purely because Flex Fitness has this sick side lateral machine that I really wanna do. And I also do rear delts on it as well. And I was kind of looking forward to doing that today until we decided to follow Brittany's workout, but we're still gonna do it on top as well. So it's gonna be like seven exercises in this workout, but it's really gonna help you, this machine especially, on getting those really capped shoulders, which is the kind of look I'm going for. So the really good thing about this machine is it confines you like the only muscle working right now is your side delts. I'm gonna bring it out, hold it for a second, and then come down. It's all about creating the illusion when you're on stage of looking 3D and making everyone else look like a bitch. <laughs> Six, seven, one of the downsides about being tall, I'm six foot one and three quarters, almost <laughs> six two, but not quite. So the downside about being tall and competing on stage is you're gonna look a lot longer than everyone else. If you're competing on the bodybuilding stage and you're like five foot eight, you're like the perfect height because you're gonna look short enough to look wide enough to create the illusion that you are wider. So me being taller is gonna naturally make me look a little bit thinner than everyone else. You know what I'm saying? I have to do my best to look as wide as possible as well. So I really need to build the thickness of my lats, build a massive cap on my shoulders and make sure my outer quad where it feathers is really thick, which is gonna give the illusion that I am wide on stage against all these short guys. No excuses, but I'm making excuses. Let's do another set. Fuck it. All right, now because the gym sadly is closed, can't do rear delts or the thing I was gonna do for rear delts, but we'll just have to do some rear delts on my next back day instead. And it's the next day. Got a pre-workout drink ready for cardio. This is our morning walk that we're gonna be taking every single morning to get to Pure Gym, which is really the only gym in the area that we can walk to. It's about 25 minutes away. We walk there and back, which adds up to around four, maybe 5,000 steps. I now have a Fitbit, it's a Charge 3. It came in the mail yesterday, set up yesterday, and today is the first full day of me using it. So it's gonna be interesting today to see actually how many steps I'm doing with my daily routine. Now we have the Fitbit. I've got no excuse to not hold myself accountable to get my steps in every single day. We're almost at the gym, but our walk to the gym every morning is actually so sketchy. Like it's down this street. We walked down here a couple of days ago and there was like human feces splattered over oh, the wall. How could you say it that? was disgusting, like honestly, even still, we've got to get the steps in. We also have a bunch of packages coming in as well. I think we have like three or four packages. So I think after cardio, later on in the video, we're gonna do a small unboxing. As you know, I'm doing abs every single day. And I got a bunch of comments about doing abs every single day. A lot of people said I should just like wait for them to repair and do them every other day. But I think strategically, because I neglected my abs so much on my off season, when you're bulking, that's when you're meant to be training your abs to develop them while you're in a surplus. But when you're not necessarily a natural athlete, it doesn't really matter when you train abs, considering you do repair quite substantially faster. And the abs every day thing, I struggle to get into routine. So I kind of have to do abs every single day. If I want to make a point of it, I have to do abs every day to make sure that I'm consistently doing them. Because if I, if I set myself a goal to do abs twice a week, there's a good chance that I may forget to do it because I haven't created that habit. So me doing abs every single day, it almost just makes my life a lot easier. There she is in all her glory. The only downside about this Pure Gym is the fact that it has two Stairmasters, and if someone's on it, either me and Brittany has to go on it, so we're doing 50 50 to compensate. We're gonna do 20 minutes walking and 10 minutes on the Stairmaster instead of 20 minutes on the Stairmaster. I'd rather do my cardio before my abs because then I could do abs and just wait and then get on the Stairmaster, but there's just something about the thought of doing cardio after abs that just doesn't sound good to me. So there we have it, cardio is complete. Honestly, I do quite like mixing it up, but doing a bit of treadmill, then a bit of Stairmaster. I actually find myself sweating a lot more when I do that and ended up doing more cardio in general anyway, so might stick with that. Just keep things interesting. Now we're moving on to abs. First off, we're doing normal sit-ups, then we're doing decline Russian twists. We'll do some abs, we'll probably do like three or four exercises. We're gonna try and keep the rest intervals to a minimum, around 20 to 30 seconds. So that being said, let's do it.
You know what me doing abs resembles? What? A rhino on ice skates. <laughs> Just like trying to be majestic, but realistically like flopping everywhere. The entirety of my last prep, admittedly trained abs like three or four times. I'm surprised I had abs at all. Here is a picture of what I managed to get my abs like. I'm excited to see what my abs are gonna look like with 12 weeks of consistent ab training, dieting even further and for longer, they're gonna be popping out the screen. All right guys, and we are back in the apartment. All of the packages that we wanted to come have now come in. So I'm gonna unbox my three packages. Well, it's basically two. The first one is basically just beans. The bean bag, because it's losing some of its bit. Well, they're, they're getting squished. It's now a sad bean bag, because there's less in it and I just like sink into it. So we bought some fillers. These are the beans for the bean bag just prep some chicken for today. We got two muscle food boxes that Brittany's gonna unbox on her channel. And I got two express deliveries from DHL. And I wonder what's inside. One and two. Number one, it's a bit bashed. Jesus, this one's even worse. This has been beat. This has had a very abusive relationship. Both clearly shoe boxes. This is the first pair that I got. They are, why are the laces orange? No Those fucking are way. Why are the laces orange? We have white laces. Okay, that's all right. I really like these. They're, they're off-white Ultra Boosts, but the laces were never meant to be orange. Ultra Boosts are by far definitely like the comfy shoes next to Yeezy. When you do cardio with Yeezys though, they kind of like slip off your feet a little bit because you don't actually tie the laces, you just slip your feet in. These will be a lot better for like, you know, running, cardio, just like generally being in the gym. They'll be a lot better, so. The next box, we have the 350 Yeezys. Ah, we have the zebra print ones again. I actually already previously owned these, but I left one in an airport. I was going through check-in and they were in my carry-on bag and like when I went through security, I must have only put one in the bag because when I got to America, this is when I was on a trip to Britney's when she used to live in Boston. I opened the bag and there was only one shoe. The only reason I decided to buy them again is because they're probably the favorite, my favorite pair of shoes I've ever owned because they're loud. They go with pretty much everything and I think they're freaking sick. We also got some socks, I guess easy, just send you socks as well. This is everything in the muscle food order. We got a bunch of coffee, sauces. This is the sauce that I'm most excited about. It has like 10 times less calories than the one I actually use. So like this is definitely gonna help us get shredded and make the food taste good. A 12 case of Monster, muscle food do Monster. We did order white, but they sent red because they must have not had any. A bunch of turkey mints and chicken, all that kind of thing. We haven't been able to get 2% fat turkey mints anywhere. Somebody did recommend muscle food in the comment section and now Brittany is working with them a little bit. Now we get free, free turkey mints and free chicken and free sauce. All right, so the laces have now been put on the all white boosts. Pretty sick boost right there. The rest of it is all white. This is how they were meant to come, but they came with those weird orange laces, not really too sure why. Zebra, zebra, depends where you're around the world, but still, they're sick. Minor notes to self, don't leave your shoes in an airport, especially your favorite ones, because then you won't have to buy them again. According to my Fitbit, I've already done 10,000 steps. It started going crazy, vibrating, and was like, congratulations, you've done 10,000 steps. Definitely a worthy purchase. It's the Charge 3 Fitbit, if you didn't hear me earlier. My old one, I'm actually giving to Brittany, so we both have one to both be able to track our steps. I think it implements the Stairmaster and the treadmill that I did as well, based on heart rate and motion, because obviously, I was in like a fixed position, so I wasn't walking around. So this Fitbit, pretty intelligent. I need to calculate exactly how many steps I did do on the treadmill and the Stairmaster because those aren't allowed to be implemented into my daily step count. My step count is only walking around the apartment, outside, not including cardio. So I have to work that out for the future. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, join the Don Squad. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.